Cubase version 9.5.20 uh, patch has been released, and there are some pretty important bug fixes that came along with it. So first thing on the bug fix list that I'm going to mention is that the history in the mix console I think has been fixed pretty much outright. So now you can see even with a Waves plugin any small adjustment on the plugin registers and then if I move a plugin it registers, if I take a, a Cubase stock plugin it registers and then I can smoothly transition between all those changes and there seems to be basically no glitches as far as I can tell uh, and everything is pretty rock solid like you can see here I'm changing a decent amount of stuff if let's say I move plugins around even more do a ton of changes activate this uh, do another change etc there's quite a bit of stuff going on and you can smoothly drag it between all those changes. So two thumbs up. I think they nailed it on the fix this time. I'm pretty sure they released a 9.5.10 patch that did not fix this. It had like some very minor um, visual fixes or something. Um, but either way, uh, now they have it fixed and I'm super happy about that. And next up on the list, is the visual glitching that was happening when I use my uh, my MIDI controller to move between the channels. If you saw my other video, you, you noticed that when I was moving this, the entire thing would go gray and stay gray, and each channel that this touched would stay gray and glitch out kind of weird. The only way to fix that was to click on the channel with the mouse, and that would kind of fix it. And there was a few other windows that when you pop it open and made some kind of change, uh, I believe that was in the studio setup here. Now this seems to be rather uh, smooth going. Uh, most of those visual glitches that I had mentioned in that video I think are fixed. So one thing that I've, I think I've noticed recently is that uh, I was trying to load up my stored preset for a color and it would not work and I just I got so tired of readjusting the color every time like I don't know every two weeks or so uh, the color would go back to the stock preset color which is this color and then I would think like okay well no big deal I'll just load my preset that it was loaded here and it just would not load the color that I saved and I don't think they've fixed that, but you know what? I, I've just given up and I've <laughs> stuck with the stock Cubase color and I'm just gonna stay with it and never even bother to change the color because it's, it's not even worth changing every two weeks and trying to remember exactly how I had the color. It's, it's not worth it. This next bug that I had spoken about in the last video, uh, my suspicion was correct, it has not been fixed. And even in this next uh, most recent update, it has not been fixed. It's to do with the locking. So I had mentioned that, you see here how it changed, is the, the folders when they're closed like that, the locking mechanism, even though like the entire thing was set to lock, and each of these individual tracks had their lock engaged, it would not visually represent it as a locked folder. And I'll show you, I'll just demonstrate here. You see the vocals, guitars, and drums are all locked. If I close this and reopen it, you'll notice Okay. <laughs> You'll notice now that both the guitars and vocals show an unlocked position. The drums are fine because it was an open folder for whatever reason. Then if I go to open 
now it displays it as a locked uh, a locked folder. So that's it's definitely not <laughs> not a game changer at all. Uh, but it just the you know when you're when you experience a DAW a program and there's all these small little glitchy things that go on, it really doesn't put you the user at ease in believing that the program is a rock solid program. And such a small, simple thing seems so strange to me that uh, they would just be able to fix it with like, a, I don't know, a couple bug tests and then a little bit of debugging or whatever code adjustment and then fix it. But uh, either way, I guess as long as they're fixing the good things like the history, uh, then I'm happy. This next bug fix is somewhat important and it has to do with the Magneto 2. So the high filter adjust was not working. You would have to go to the generic editor uh, by switching here to the generic editor, turning it on from here and then the plugin would work as, as it should. And uh, now it actually works. Let me demonstrate here. So yeah, everything seems to work on that, so that's great. I haven't tested any of the other plugins, but uh, that is fixed, so yeehaw. This next bug fix is something that uh, I tried to explain and demonstrate. It's a little bit hard to, to, to explain when it just doesn't happen, but essentially what was happening is I think I would be in the mix console area and I'd have one track selected then I would go into the main project area and I would uh, select a different track in this section. And what would happen is both those tracks, the old selected and the new selected track, would be highlighted in the mix console, but only the mix console. And then it would be completely unclear as to which one of these is selected. I'd have to go into the mix console click again, um, and I think even the reason why it was so confusing is because I like to use this MIDI controller, and when it was moving, and I, and I have these MIDI controls for a parameter based on the highlighted track, I could never tell which track it was actually uh, being used for because it would be like the initial highlighted track, but it wouldn't, I wouldn't have that visual feedback and it just seemed like quite the bug. But I've, I've not experienced that since uh, 9.5.20. Uh, I don't remember what it was like on 9.5.1. So as of right now, I think it is actually fixed. And one last thing that I had mentioned in the past video is that there's actually a missing folder icon in the plugin manager window area. So for those of you who are familiar familiar with this part of Cubase, you might have noticed that it looks weird. And that's because, uh, like I mentioned, there, there should be these little folder icons that fill this little space. So that has not been fixed. Um, maybe they will soon, who knows. All right, so in conclusion, I would say that uh, Steinberg got most of those big, annoying, important bugs fixed, especially that history uh, in the mix console. That was actually really important to me. And the problem too was that when it wasn't working, or at least intermittently not working, you couldn't depend on it uh, for your life. <laughs> uh, you would maybe see that there's some things and if you accidentally went back in the history or you tried to go back in the history uh, you wouldn't actually get your information back by going 
back to the end of the history. And that was a big problem. It's, it was essentially giving you a way of going all the way back to like a beginning, <clears throat> excuse me, a beginning part of your mix or a significantly earlier part of your mix. If you had switched back, there was no way of getting back to your, your, your final end point that you had. So that was really a problem. Uh, the fact that they fixed it here, I think is a, a two and a half thumbs up for that. The rest of the bugs to me, um, visual glitches, all that stuff uh, is a fairly high priority to me. The stability of the program is an even bigger uh, priority. And I think uh, based on my usage from 9.5, to 9.5.20, I could say that it is at least a little bit more smooth in the playback with less um, playback drops or crashes in general. Um, but uh, you let me know. Um, if you still have some major bugs that you think need fixing, comment down below and I will see if that's actually on the... Uh, the Steinberg forum, I might try and make a little bit of noise and point that out and make another bug video demonstrating those bugs. Uh, the more we can gather up and demonstrate as being problematic with the program as far as bugs or whatnot, uh, maybe the more attention will be brought to it to Steinberg and maybe they'll uh, get on it a little bit quicker or more efficiently. Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.